Hi, Tracy here with BibleJournalingMinistries.com and today we're doing a review of the ESV Journaling Bible True Tone Teal Resplendent Cross Edition. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. I purchased this Bible a couple weeks ago. There was an amazing deal on Amazon. I posted it on the Facebook page and the YouTube group and also in the the Bible Journaling for Beginners Facebook community. So as soon as I saw the deal, I posted it and I think it was gone within the hour. So be sure to, you know, turn on notifications, follow pages, all that kind of stuff to make sure that you are in the know of any really great sales. Because as soon as I, I hear about them, I post them right away. And this one is no longer as cheap as it was. And now it's $29.99. I think the retail on this, hmm, Gosh, I want to say it was like $35, is it the retail? No, the retail is $39.99. And um, comes with a cover, just a cover to kind of protect it. But man, this is a beautiful Bible. It is so beautiful. A lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. The Bible is actually, let me give you the measurements. Now, they did say what the measurements were. I just was like, oh, that seems really small. And so I didn't know if it was true, but it is true. Uh, they say it is 6.25 inches by 7.25. Yeah, it's about what it's running. Yep, six point, mine's a little bit different, six and a half, but I guess if I were to just measure the actual Bible part, it would be 6.25, so. Uh, yeah, it's about 6.25 by 7.25. It's got a 7 point font, 1,088 pages. And as you can see, the pages are all marked. It's cream colored, as you can see. Uh, let's see. It says 1,088 pages on Amazon, but I'm only showing 1,066. So I'm not sure if there's a difference there. Hopefully I'm not missing any. I don't think I am. <laughs> but it's the Resplendent Cross Design. So that's resplendent meaning colorful. If you have another definition for that, I think it is very colorful and very beautiful. You can see the cross in the middle with the kind of rays shooting out. So I just thought that was really pretty. A nice little gold tone on the side as well. This is an imitation blue kind of cover. And then you have the bookmark, the normal bookmark that you usually get. Just one in this one. Let's see if I can pull it out so you can see it. It does matchy matchy, which is nice. I love that. A nice little matching bookmark. Very cool. And uh, then it's just got this imitation leather co cover, which is really pretty. Let me weigh this for you so that you can see. The reason why I weigh these Bibles is really to, so for people who are carrying them around in their purses. Sometimes, oh, sometimes you do not want to carry them in your purse because they're too heavy sometimes. Let's see if I can get this to work today. Uh, one pound, 8.4 ounces, a little under two pounds, maybe, yeah, like one and a half pounds essentially is how much it weighs. So if you're carrying it in your purse, it's really kind of lightweight, no big deal. Then you have the dedication page right here, nice thick page right here, and the rest of it is really standard thin Bible drilling pages. So no, no difference in the page thickness here than a standard Bible as far as I can tell. It's got a little introduction. It's got a front cover with its contents. You have the Old Testament and the New Testament here. There's additional pages in here about God's plan to save you, introductions to the Old and New Testaments, and a through the Bible in a year reading plan. So that's awesome. Gives you a little bit about what the Bible says about certain things. So if you're struggling with your uh, maybe blessings, um, you want to learn more about children's, you want to learn a little bit about what to do when you're in despair, what the Bible says about discernment, there's some topics here for you. So you, you can just go under that section and go directly to that verse. Now in terms of, and it just actually there's quite a few pages, that's a lot. Hmm. Wow, there's quite a few topics in here, so that's nice. And then you have your, um, your preface. And then you start with the Old Testament. So this is the Old Testament introduction and then into Genesis. So in terms of how big the margins are, the margins are a little bit over two inches, but if we just are measuring the lines themselves, it's like, um, it'd be better if I measured in centimeters. I can give you a better and more accurate 
so almost five and a half centimeters wide from the word, end of the word to the edge of the page. Now in terms of how much writing space with the lines, because it does have the lines, it's a little over four centimeters in terms of the lines, but yeah, nice two inch margin ish essentially and then you have your stand it's a double double column here so you can read and then you go to the, you just continue to read this way uh, so you don't get bigger letters again it's a seven point font and um, yeah, it looks like a standard Bible there isn't much more I can say about it besides it's really compact I, I really like how small it is I'm just checking to make sure <laughs> most <laughs> I want to make sure all the books are there I'm <laughs> just flipping through it and then they have God's plan to save you at the end that's nice and then introductions to the books of the Old Testament I want to see if they have an introduction um, to the New Testament since they had an introduction to the Old Testament one would think that there's an intro to the New Testament here yep they have that that's really nice so at least they're they're really consistent, but man, this this Bible is really light. <laughs> it's really light. I could really just carry it around and not have any problem. It's not a heavy Bible at all. Uh, let's see if there's anything else I want to share with you about this. So, let's see. So once we get to the end, we had God's plan to save you. And then we had the introductions to the old... Um, to the books of the Old Testament. So it just gives you a little bit more about each of the books of the Bible. Kind of like a, I would consider it like a, I don't know, quick easy summary essentially. Maybe key points to consider. <laughs> and then we go ahead and it gives you the introduction to the books of the New Testament. So there are that. And then we have the Through the Bible in Your Reading Plan. That's nice. So it just kind of gives you the date and then the month. That's nice. And then you have, this is like the last page that I use often to test certain mediums I'm using for my Bible journaling. So if I'm using kind of a new paint, new watercolor, new acrylic, new marker, whatever I'm using, I'll test it here to see if it bleeds through. Most of the time it bleeds through unless unless I'm using something like a gelato or maybe certain watercolors with the high pigments or acrylics, those typically won't bleed through. Micron pen typically won't bleed through either, but I do like to test it. That's what this page is used for. And then you have that last page here. So all in all, I think it's a really great Bible. It's really beautiful. It's got a beautiful co um, cover to it. And it's ESV version, which is, is a version that I do use. And it's, it's, it's a nice Bible, so I would recommend it, especially at the price that we got it at, and I will definitely keep my eye open for future sales. So make sure that you are subscribed, and we will talk to you in our next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye!